Training this weekend, puppies will be taking over Philly International Airport. They will be training with the seeing eye to become guide dogs. The canines and their handlers are here with us this morning to tell us more about it. And joining me right now is Leah Douglas, Director of Guest Experience at Philly International Airport. Uh, Kimberly Winnington, Area Coordinator for Puppy Development for the Seeing Eye. And also Harvey Finkel with his puppy here as well. So first of all, uh, let's start, Kimberly. When it comes to the training process, what are you guys do at the seeing eye? So we take puppies and we place them with families when they're about seven or eight weeks old. And they keep them for a little over a year and we try to expose them to as many different things as possible, teach them all different kinds of stuff to prepare them to be guide dogs. I may need to take the puppies <laughs> home with me. I'm well, you can. We have, we, we need puppy raisers. So. Um, so, uh, Leah, as far as the airport is concerned, you're the, um, the director of guest experiences. What's going to happen there this weekend? Well, we expect about 45 puppies oh. and their razors. I know it's amazing. So we have a parade basically throughout the airport. But the airport's a perfect facility to give them all these different types of experiences, from riding an elevator to going through TSA security checkpoint. We walk the terminals. And the culmination is, shout out to Frontier, we actually get on an airplane wow, with the 45 wow. puppies, so it's really fun. You did. The, have you done this before? This is our second year at the airport. We're so thankful that they have us. What is it like in the airport walking through with all the passengers? Oh, yes, oh, baby. It's <laughs> amazing for the dogs because they get all of the exposure, but I'm pretty sure all the people enjoy it, too. Yeah, totally. And which puppy do we have here? This is uh, Winston. Winston. Uh, Winston's ready to make friends in yes. the airport. <laughs> so, Harvey, who are you with here? Your, your puppy seems to be exhausted. It's just getting ready for the weekend. <laughs> this is James. Jamie, and Jamie is a 21-week-old golden retriever puppy. Oh, my gosh. And she is a pro at the airport since she goes about once a week. Oh, okay. Do you just go for day trips and wander around just to kind of get used to her? My wife and I are volunteers at the airport, okay. so we get the privilege of being able to take our puppy to the airport for additional exposure. How has that changed since the first time you were there versus, like, your most recent experience? Does she get used to it? They get used to it. They they wander around. They get to greet people more. Um, as an eight-week-old puppy, we didn't let people greet her because she was a bitey oh, okay. puppy. Right. Okay. But now at 21 weeks, we'll, she'll get more greetings and, and pets. She's ready for sitting at the gate for a delay. She'll. This is her. Okay. This, this is, is her. Good. Yep. This is good. When when we're out, if we're talking, she lays down. The seeing eye does uh, just an amazing operation. And I mean, but this, this is, takes a lot of work and a lot of resource and a lot of volunteers and help. Absolutely, and we'll take all the help we can get. We definitely could use more volunteers uh, for our program, but it makes such a difference in our graduates' life to be able to have these dogs and get this training in, and then they have their formal training and get matched and hopefully help give someone freedom and independence and <laughs> more mobility. Yes. Well, thank you all for being here this morning. Thank Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Janelle, back to you in the studio. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look they are the adorable. <laughs> No, I know, oh, I know, I know, yawning. I know. I That's know. how we all feel this morning, Winston. Yes. <laughs> all right, Jim, thank you so much.